Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over a quick method of rendering 720p video for YouTube in actually very good quality but it's mainly about it being very fast. So first off drop your video into the drag down below and make sure that the frame sampling is actually disabled. You do that by right clicking the um, the video in the track, click in properties and, go, and tick in disable resample instead of smart resample. Uh, if I'll show you just a quick difference, here you can see might be on a different frame. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Here, here, you, wait, where was it? Come on, give me some good frames. Here, as you can see, maybe here you can see that there's a lot of ghosting in the background there's like double everything and well to get rid of you just disable the resampling and it just looks much sharper and this gives the video the main good look now the other thing the project properties accessible by alt enter or just clicking this little icon with the mouse and the stripe uh, little stripes so in there set the width and height to the 720p um, measurements, field order set to none, there shouldn't be anything else, only if you record actually in anything like interlaced, but I don't get, I don't think so. You'll probably have your footage progressive already, so just leave it on none, pixel aspect ratio on one, uh, frame rate is actually on you, I use 30, but you can use even 25 or 24, YouTube supports all that, so it's pretty fine. Now, uh, the pixel format I recommend using 32 bit floating point full range with compositing gamma of 1. That gives the video a much brighter look than with it do. It just, it, it doesn't look really, there isn't, there isn't really a huge difference in the like simple frames. When well, you look at the video, or rather in dark places, the video with 32 bit floating point method is just much, bright, much brighter. Now, the full resolution rendering quality should be on best. Motion blur type is always on Gaussian, don't use anything else because if anything gets blurred in your video, if you use motion blur or anything like that, the other ones don't look as good as Gaussian, this, this is the best method. Uh, now, the Ernst method is unknown since our footage is on, it's already progressive. And on the audio part, just make sure the sample rate is 44 kilohertz and the bit depth is 16, that's, that's enough. You could maybe even use like 8, but I recommend setting it, leaving it on 16 mainly if you do commentaries just for the better audio quality. Now, let's just move on into the render as settings. So, I use the MP4 container, which is actually pretty good because it gives you small files and it renders quickly. So it is the, I'm just gonna scroll to it. It is the Sony AVC slash MVC MP4 format. Just select that, choose one of these HD presets. I'll choose the AVC HD and just click customize template. Wait, maybe not. Maybe, maybe that we will actually choose the memory stick. Wait, no, no, no. I let's just choose the yeah just choose the blu-ray one of these it doesn't matter and well you should actually choose one of these 24p but you're gonna edit everything in there anyways so the video format is on AVC frame size set it to high definition 720p profile I recommend using high or main and the entropy coding on Quebec now frame rate, set that to the same frame rate you set in your project properties, field order to none, pixel aspect ratio to one, and for YouTube, I recommend leaving the bitrate on 10 or 8 megabytes, I actually use 8, I'm gonna render this video in 8 megabytes of this video quality so you can see how it looks. Now, uh, let's move on, the encode mode, if you have a GPU that supports uh, rendering in Sony Vegas, like NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti, that's what I have and I support it. You can use it. It decreases the quality a little bit, but on the newer 
drivers for the graphic card it it works pretty good and the requ the uh, rendering is very fast now you should make sure that your audio is included um there's some problem right now i don't know why i think that it might be because of my of my footage that has different audio but i'll just show you in my favorite template which i have here just choose that and in the audio you will have a IAC audio format the sample rate of 44 kilohertz and the bitrate is enough on 112 or well set it between 112 and 160 more isn't needed and less would decrease the quality and audio and current mode obviously in stereo 5.1 would fuck up your video on YouTube in the system just use the mp4 and the project video and the quality is on best you can also check if your GPU is supported by clicking here and as you can see my GPU is supported so that is all just click OK save it to whatever what, wherever you want and let the video render um, so as I said this video is rendered with this particular rendering setting so you can take a look at what at how these videos look like you can also check out my channel my where i post uh, let's plays which is youtube.com slash and there's a link on this channel just go to my channel there's a link to the channel uh, so all these videos i have on my let's plays channels that are in 720p are rendered through this rendering settings so thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions anything that you want to remind me or any ideas just post them in the comment section below and i'll be back soon bye